So here is an example of high quality workmanship done on TAP 400 cabinetry. Um, here you'll note that they use the high quality materials as well as tie and groove uh, construction method for their cabinetry. So here's another example of easy accessibility of things that they need to work on. There's the Aldi heating system fluid. This really is the Skepta. It's in the closet. Just open one door and you're right there. And also here's the uh, access hatch to the plumbing system. Uh, so when I'm rising and whatnot, it's going to be a fairly easy task. Um, and then next is easy access to Aldi heating system which is under the bed. So just underneath the uh, closet here, you have easy access to the fuse and, um, and switches here. So electrical panels really easy to get to, as well as the uh, battery, I'm sorry, the uh, solar charging system here, the monitor is easy to access as well. Can you hear the rain? It was raining pretty hard that night. Tap 400 comes with Aldi heating system. I was staying warm and toasty inside and I was able to take hot showers while it was freezing outside. Here is the floor plan of Tap 400 and what it looks like outside, on the right side and left side. And you will note that it comes with the solar panels, which comes in really handy when you're boondocking. Here's a picture of my first boondocking camping site and then that followed. It's an attractive camper. Another great thing about this camper is that you can just pull up to a site and set up a great camping or what they call glamping situation and basically you have your own living room kitchen and bathroom all set up there's a dining table for three and here's a convenient kitchen which comes with sink and two burners this is what it looks like from the back of the bed looking outside and you can star you can look at the stars and night and when you wake up in the morning you have this beautiful view outside the front window which really uh, opens up the place and this really brightens up the camper I'm looking forward to my retirement and using this camper to tour the country until then I will be enjoying my camping, RVing, and just traveling the country. Have I had any problems? Nothing major. It's usually user error, such as turning too tight on the corners and damaging my bumper and uh, back of the bed of the truck. I ended up replacing the um, the cargo carrier that holds the uh, gas tank, propane tank rather, and that solved the problem. Is this a perfect camper for everyone? No, but it is for me. This will work. This is not the most biggest camper out there and it does have some shortcomings. However, I think this will work for me when I retire. So here are some pictures of the awnings that I came up with. The idea came from the um, forums, RV, the tab owners forums. It's a great resource. Thank you for watching my video.